Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we are bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make this change happen, today I will answer the question, what is a Coinbase transaction? And I'm coming to you from the Blockchain Institute of Technology's Multimedia Recording Facilities, where I'm currently working on a brand new video course. Stay tuned. In this video, I will be discussing the concept of the Coinbase transaction. The Coinbase transaction is a very important transaction in Bitcoin because it's where new Bitcoins are created. As we go through this video lesson, I want to point out that the Coinbase transaction is not the same thing as Coinbase, which is a company called Coinbase. The Coinbase transaction is actually a type of transaction that the miners create when they are building new blocks and adding them to the blockchain. You see, in Bitcoin, Bitcoins are not printed like you would print dollars or euros or yen or any type of fiat currency that a central bank may issue. Instead of printing an unlimited amount or however much of a specific currency, in the case of Bitcoin, Bitcoins are mined. And the way that they're actually created is by actually creating what is known as the Coinbase transaction. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what a Coinbase transaction looks like and how you can actually research and look at different Coinbase transactions yourself. So to do so, I would like to take you now to a block explorer. For the purposes of this lesson, I will take you to blockdozer.com, which is a block explorer which enables you to look at the Bitcoin blockchain and also the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to focus on Bitcoin because we're actually looking at a Bitcoin Coinbase transaction. Once you're on Blockdozer, you will find that there is a pull down that lets you select e currency. In this case, you can look at Bitcoin or you can look at Bitcoin Cash. We are focusing on Bitcoin. So I will select Bitcoin and it will show you the latest blocks that are actually added to the Bitcoin blockchain. If you want to see all blocks, you can simply select this option and it'll show you the entire selection of all the latest blocks. This information is constantly updated as new blocks are added to the Bitcoin blockchain. For the purposes of this lesson, I want to take you to see what a Coinbase transaction looks like. And to put things in context, as you see here, these are all the latest blocks that have been mined and added to the Bitcoin blockchain. For this video, as you can see, this video is being recorded at this time, and the latest block is actually block number 528,071. At the time you view this video, you will have a much higher block height than what you see right here. But for the purposes of this video, it's irrelevant because what you're seeing is a moment in time, and there are Coinbase transactions in every single block. To show you right now what the Coinbase transaction looks like, let's look at some details here. You find that all of these blocks show not only the timestamp of when they were created, but also the number of transactions that are included in each one of these blocks. You also see who it was mined by. This would be the miner that actually created this block. And you see also the size of the block. Let's select one block at random, say this block, number 528,066, which has 2,100 transactions. We're going to click inside this block and key things that you're going to find. Number one, you see here the number of transactions in this block. As we saw, it's 2,100. You also see the block hash. Notice the number of leading zeros for this block. This is one of the key reasons how proof of work enables the Bitcoin blockchain to accept this block as a valid block. This was actually mined by a miner and the miner created a hash that had the required number of leading zeros to have a valid block. As you see this here, you find that the miner that did that was BTC. And you find also that of those 2,100 transactions, there are multiple transactions. And all of these transactions have both inputs and outputs, except for one transaction, the first transaction, which has no inputs. And it says newly generated coins. What you are seeing here is the Coinbase transaction. When a miner creates a new block, they always have the opportunity to create the, the Coinbase transaction, which is a transaction where they reward themselves for the specific creation of this Bitcoin block. This is how the miners actually get compensated. The miners get compensated in Bitcoin. For the Bitcoin blockchain, when you create a brand new block, the miner receives 12.5 bitcoins at the time of this recording. Let's analyze further. 
this is the Coinbase transaction and you will find that there are not 12.5 Bitcoins but rather 12.78521692 Bitcoins. What that is actually is 12.5 Bitcoins which were newly created plus all the transaction fees for adding all of the 2100 transactions that create this block. So in a nutshell the first transaction that gets added on a brand new block is called the Coinbase transaction. It's how the miner can actually reward themselves for creating that brand new block. I hope you found this video valuable and that you learned something while you watched it. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so I encourage you to subscribe and stay up to date as I publish brand new videos with lots of new lessons. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We are changing the world one blockchain at a time. Thank you for watching.